Hey YouTube, today I have for you a 2013 Chrysler Town & Country Tour. This is going to be an in-depth tour on the Town & Country. We'll start it up, show the engine, and go over most of the features in the interior. Oh, and without any time to waste, go ahead and start it up and get it going. This has Chrysler's proximity access system. You have this fob over here. You have your Chrysler emblem. Your panic, your lock, unlock, your trunk, and your remote start, and your power sliding doors. You move this to get the actual key. But this has remote start, okay? If you want to activate it, just lock it and push this button here twice. And also with this smart key access system, you have um, a set of door handles with buttons that, that also exists on the passenger side too. So if I leave the keys in my pocket, I could push this button over here to lock it. And, and to unlock it, I could just tap the door handle over here too. This has the... With a baseless interior. Very comfortable seating. It's e brake. Pedals. Now, with the proximity access system, you also get push button start. So, how does that work? All you have to do is put your foot on the brake. Once that happens, you could just hit the engine start button. Like I showed you earlier, you could use the remote start. Very easy steering. Very fluid. You also have your switch over here for your signals. And your windshield wipers. It's low on gas. A six speed automatic transmission with manual shift mode. So we're gonna turn on the headlights, they are automatic and the hazards. All the windows are automatic. Also, the sliding door windows go down and the rear quarters. So, with that, let's check out the exterior. And the interior would beep if you take the key out. I decided to turn off the engine because the back or the fuel was pretty low. Anyways, um, in the exterior you have projector beam headlights. They swivel on the limited trim. And there are also HIDs in the limited trim. You also have your chrome grill. I don't know if I could call that a waterfall, but it has a cool 3D effect. And your Chrysler emblem over there to as well. Activate your and you also have to simply push down the head like LEDs switch. on the mirrors, also the chrome. Chrome handles, the keyhole over there. And your Chrysler badging on the side. This is chrome molding. Also have your gas cap, which this thing desperately needs because it's low on gas. You have LED taillights with the incandescent signal, of course. You can kind of see it on. And as you can see, the signal is separate from the brake light, unlike most cars are starting to get nowadays. 
you also have Weird Play Consensus and your Weird Backup Camp, you know, which I'll talk about earlier. The town and country's history cannot be underestimated because the truth is Chrysler invented the minivan. They made a luxury version of the Dodge Grand Caravan and the Plymouth Voyager called the, the Chrysler Town and Country. And it got a bunch of redesigns and in 2001, that's where it, that's where it was the best. And when Chrysler really started to improve because of the relationship with Mercedes, which went away in the following years, but it's still a really good car and it has some traits from Mercedes. Now, the um, last generation town and country the 2008 to through 2010 version, it um, was a really good success. It had style and features, but for Chrysler, it wasn't enough. The main reason why, because some people didn't think that it was enough. So, so that's where this generation comes in. It has a bunch of new features like push button start, um, navigation. And, well, it did have navigation, but this one is much improved. And the stow and go system, which I'll talk about later, has been much improved with improved seats and more simplicity. And this van is also more fuel efficient. Fuel mileage is 17 on the city and 25 on the highway. We're also going to pop the hood. So, to achieve good mileage for a minivan you had to have a good engine in the town and country the this van comes equipped with the crown jewel of chrysler engines and a new engine at that too this is a 3.6 liter v6 to chrysler it's called the 3.6 liter pentastar because this represents a huge step forward in the engines it's both more reliable has more power and definitely gets better gas mileage as well. In fact, there's a button that's an economizer mode, which actually gives you better mileage. And plus to the car enthusiasts, it also sounds like this is an engine in the 200 V6 and in the 300 V6. It's also in the new Grand Cherokee, the Dodge Charger V6, so on and so forth. The town and country's interior is also a big improvement. You got really nice, high quality leather all over. You got also really nice wood trim and chrome accenting. Granted, this is a Touring L and not the Limited trim. The Limited um, has a lot more standard features that this car has optional. And plus it has a lot of exclusivities like different wheels and such. Like this one, it only has 17 inches. This is actually the limit, the late availability wheels. It's wild off of the limited trim, but it's chrome. But in the limited trim, it's chrome. So that's another exclusive thing. But this van, despite that, is still well equipped. And it does that beeping when the doors open and, it, and when it's in accessory mode. Talk about that later. Um, we're gonna close all the windows. Close this, the quarter windows, and close these while we're at it. So, the dashboard looks similar in some ways to the last generation, but it's got a whole lot more technology, which is the real deal. First of all, this is one feature that was not in the previous version, push button start. So you have your headlight controls over here, your brightness for this instrument panel. You can't really see it because because it is a bright day. You have to have the headlights on for the brightness. See? By the way, these headlights are automatic. We're gonna turn off the fog lights too. I think they're off. Anyways, like I said, you have your signal with your windshield wipers. 
and this is a European style signal switch all I have to do is move this little clicker over here a little bit up does three clicks automatically very neat feature the pedals are adjustable as well and you'll see that happening if you look closely see my foot is over here I notice how it moves away from my foot very neat feature and not only do you have that but to get even more dialed in you have eight way power driver seat That includes a lumbar. So let's move this a little bit forward. Sorry if I was zoomed in. So you can see these pedals are a little bit too close for my taste. Let me move them away. Okay. So right now I'm in my comfortable position. If this was a limited, I could save my position from the memory seats over here, but this is a touring L. The steering wheel is very thick. It's leather wrapped. Your Chrysler logo. And of course your horn. I'm not going to do that because that would be rather obnoxious. Cruise control, Bluetooth, voice command, and your information center over here. Let's see, fuel economy. <laughs> this is brand new, so yeah. It does so it doesn't drive that much. So that mileage will greatly improve. So don't think that it's bad. Let's set this up. Pike assist. That's the parking sensors in the back. If you put this thing in reverse and you start backing up then and once you and once you get close to something it would start beeping at you and the more you get closer the faster it's gonna beep because it will beep really fast if you're really close but if and if you're even closer than that then it would give you like a solid beep this has blind spot alert what this does is see that or that flag over or not flag the triangle what am i thinking um that would light up orange if there's a vehicle in your blind spot because there is a sensor in the tail light actually so I think I think we could activate that so yeah yeah you get the idea basically and with that blind spot monitor it also has the cross traffic alert so if you or cross path detection my bad so if you're backing up and the from the parking space and if there's a vehicle um that's coming by and you can't see it it would start beeping at you also so and there's also buttons for the radio behind the steering wheel the right side is volume and the left side is seat has the Uconnect system, you turn it off by turning off the radio. T take that off. Too. So far, you have Bluetooth and a voice command. You could also do that from the steering wheel, but let's give it a command. Radio. FM radio. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working as well as I thought, but probably, hopefully for other people, it would work better. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the steering wheel has its own tilting and telescoping adjustments. It tilts and telescopes, which is good, and it's also damped so it doesn't drop on your knees. You have to give it quite a tap, but yeah, then again, you'll do it for regular buttons. This is the Uconnect touchscreen, control your radio, 
That's satellite radio. You could do direct tune. This has an actually no, this does not have an infinity sound system. Also can load CDs through here as well. Menu for your system. The controls for the rear entertainment system, as it does have two monitors. You can turn the screen off, display settings, default view, and your pictures. You can actually load pictures through the USB drive. Also has an auxiliary jack. Jack. You can also scan your time, your presets, and your media, hard disk drive, and your disks. This particular version does not have navigation. If it does, then there will be a Garmin based system, but this does not have it because it's not equipped well enough. The limited version is standard with that, but let's turn that off because that's because we're done with that. LED lighting. Your controls for the power sliding doors. You could turn off the power for the doors. I'll show you how that works. See, I'm gonna open the right side. Opens up very quick. And you also have one for the lift gate. And there's a selectable option, so like if you open the the sliding doors in the trunk, it would actually turn on the um the the signals depending on which one is open. Your AC, it's a dual zone, and there's also one for the back, and we and they also have their own set of controls for the for their own AC. But so, but right now they can't control it because I have the lock. But right now they, but not right now the rear passengers can control their own AC. Heated seats, and you also have a heated steering wheel, which is another new exclusivity. This is for the rear entertainment cup holders. Storage and your outlets. You have a drawer over there. Actually, no, that's to remove this thing. This is the premium center console, the limited trim. You could get it as an option to have something that's more that's connected to the dashboard. That's called the super console. It's actually fixed in. And it has a bunch of storage areas and cup holders, but since this is not a limited, this has the premium sensor console. And by the way, this is this console is also optional on the limited. Lined in with felt. This also slides back for the rear passengers. And if that's not enough, there's another way to slide it back. Very neat setup. Sunglasses holder. Sun visor with the mirror and vanity light. Your automatic dimming mirror. Let's turn this off. This is the econ button that gives you that helps you get better gas mileage. Actually, it would pretty much force the vehicle to get better gas mileage to get the best as possible. That's for turning on the outlet in the back. Turn off your traction control. Your dual 
glove boxes. Alright, that pretty much covers the front area. Now let's move on to the back. I'm actually going to leave the vehicle on to show off the, um, the rear monitors in the back. Let's turn that on. See. Oh, we go to media for that. Well, I guess like not, so never mind that. This does have power sliding doors, I showed you that earlier in the video. But what this also has is stow and go. What that does is when um this seat is all the way forward, you can actually fold this seat and the floor. The other side was already done. I'm going to show you how to activate that. This seat needs to be all the way forward. That's required. And what's, what else you need to do is open this up. That locks into place. Make sure the armrest are up. Pull this handle. And it would fold into the floor and then you could close that up pretty much gives you more cargo space and I'll show you how to put it back up as well just pretty much pull that handle up and when it's up you have a big storage bin and just pull that handle, lift the seat up, and lift up the headrest. You could also recline the seat and slide it forward and back. Bear with me, I have to put the camera down. Oops. Sliding all over the place. Try to go back with it. Try to go back. There we go. Magic. And I'll oh, fold up that side up forward. We're going to show you what you get in the back. Now, when you're not using that storage area, you could fold this up to get better access into the rear work, to the back row. Or you could go through the middle alleyway. You also have a pair of armrests. And if you want to make yourself comfortable, you could also use that handle to recline the seats. It also goes back pretty far, but it's not one of those minivans that are not that well made where the seat goes so far back that it folds um, right on top of this seat. <laughs> There's also a button here to close the sliding door. Have your window shades. That one is up. Handle, window, lock and unlock it. Heated seats. These are also perforated leather. If you get the limited trim, the seats um, actually have leather with suede accenting. Very beautiful dash. AC controls. And your entertainment system. Uh, can you also adjust the volume? You also have one for the rear. See? LED lights for, th for this row as well. I was going to show you what the... Um... 
I was going to show you what the um, resolution looks like, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Sorry about that, people. I'm going to show you the rear wheel as well. That seat folds up pretty similar to the stone wheel in here. They also recline over here as well. Oops. And I'll show you how to fold those in the back. They recline using that loose strap. Like I said earlier, you also have a power operated lift gate. Just tap this button twice. If you use the handle over here, it would open up manually. It also has a warning beep, so in case nobody knows that it's going to open, it won't slam into them. It has a flashlight. Well, it did have a flashlight, but it's taken out. Yeah. It, 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 it's an LED flashlight, and that's the end that recharges right there. To fold these seats down, it's labeled. You have a one, two, three, and four. Oops. And if you get um, an option package in the limited trim, these also become power. Hold on, bear with me. I had to put the camera down yet again. But don't get the wrong idea. It's actually pretty easy, but I just can't do it with one hand. And once that happens, just pull two and four. And put the headrest up. You also have a light over there. No, but I mean, this is our that will conclude my tour on this 2013 Chrysler Town and Country. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos and Thank, and also, thanks for watching. And before I leave, big shout out to Savage Chrysler Dodge and Jeep for letting me do a video of this van in the first place. I don't